Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're with one of our favorite couples, <laughs> Jacia and Marcus. Um, we planned their wedding. <laughs> we planned their wedding this year. We met in math class in 2013, in August, September. Jesus, why do you remember the year? I must be old. I mean, I'm, I'm good with years and stuff like that. So it, it was early, early in the semester, and um, we were, just generally speaking, the people in our class were talking about this forming a oh, study group. Either I or her talked about it, and then I approached her. I said, I heard you talk about study group, and it was these two two people that were right next to her that sat in that same row. So I approached her after class, and I said, I heard you y'all were talking about uh, forming a study group. Mind you, I, I thought she was pretty already. But I struggle with math, so I did approach you. I'll let you say you got my number. <laughs> Anyways, so, okay. One of us approached each other, but then I remember talking about forming, they were talking about forming a study group, so I involved myself, I was like, well, let's, let's link up or something. And she'll say that she booked me, I said I booked her, it's a dead argument. Well, it we, I wasn't even looking to book anybody. I was just like, but it like, wasn't like that. Number. So it really just started up as us just being study partners and from there we just clicked. Like the two other people that she was with that sat in her row, they were weird. Like, <laughs> no I hope she doesn't watch this video, she'd be pissed. Because like, right. I actually, we actually still know her. That was me. Whatever. They were being <laughs> weird at the meeting. Like, and they'll admit to that, they were being weird while we were doing our study group. So we ended up just doing our own thing for the most part and just from then we just became friends and then we just started dating. We went on a couple of dates and then we finally made it official on October 15th that we were going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. So, and I, for me, like most of my friends were like, hey, that, dude, that was pretty quick, but we were seeing each other every day to study. And I remember the weekend where I saw on Instagram stories that Marcus proposed and it was like the cutest thing. Everything was on the West Coast. I hired her before we got engaged. You didn't know? No, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best YouTube so, video okay. ever. So, okay. So, I'm going to go. I swore you knew. No, I no swore idea. you knew. No. Oh, you knew. That's no. why you were in the first meeting. No, I had no idea. I bought the dress before we got officially engaged. So, and I hired. So, she was. I think I hired Iris, too. She had already been pressing me about marriage. And I was like, no. Not pressing me. Well, well, not pressing me. But she kept bringing it up and stuff. Like, I would say, baby, you gonna make a sandwich? Something, something like that. And then she would go like this. <laughs> And I'd be like, damn, like, where did this come from? So we were around Valentine's Day, she went to Trinidad, and that's when I bought the ring. I had one of my homegirls that's around her size, and I matched our hands around the same size, so I had her help me, you know, with the, with the sizing and everything. So I bought that. So from February to her birthday's late May, um, I had been planning on how I was going to do it. So I did it. The next day, though, after I proposed, <laughs> she's already planning. Yeah. And I was I was already yeah. dumbfounded. I didn't know that she was doing it before that though. Yeah. So. Because we had talked about it. <laughs> 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 Tricia, his family is from Trinidad. She is Trinidadian. 100%. She's trained. And then we have Marcus, who is from El Salvador, so he's Salvadorian. Well, my family's from El Salvador. Yeah. His family's he's from El Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you're pretty Salvadorian. I mean, you pronounce yeah. things the correct way, like you know the music. Like, you know well, the yeah, music. I mean, that's my culture, but like, yeah. she's more in tune with her culture than I am because I grew up here. Yeah. So. I mean, I grew up here too. No, but, but like my parents moved here when they were teenagers, for the most part. So we're pretty more Americanized than you are. You are. I will say she is more in tune with her culture than we are, for the most part. The only difference is the language barrier. Right. But the food, the music, I would, I think I she got. She has me beat on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Much. Before this wedding, we still were pretty intentional about trying to have both culture, you know, showcase through the wedding.
as you bump him from his seat. <laughs> Love you. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. This is Tricia and Marcus. <laughs> Marcus got kicked out, but he's on the comfy chair, so that's See, good. That's where you want to be, though. Still. <laughs> this is mom. She's Hi. been to every single Hi. planning meeting, yeah. except for yeah. one where I had just the two of them, but every other one. Mommy got the first drink, though. Yeah, mommy got the money. <laughs> <laughs> I should be screaming. So you're screaming because of money. money. <laughs> and I'm screaming because I'm excited. Don't, don't judge me. And Marcus is just trying He's to just fall. looking at you guys like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot going on. A lot going on. Very first time I met uh, Patricia. Funny story. So first thing in the morning, I see, okay, new inquiry. Okay, awesome. Respond to her with the link to schedule a consultation with me. Most people take a while to respond. And I instantly, it's like meeting tonight at six o'clock. And I'm like, ooh, okay, I can make that. <laughs> like, oh, okay. And Tricia has a special guest, which is her mom. Yeah. <laughs> she, got the, she got the coin. Yes, and her mom is like, I don't understand how she found a wedding planner on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Why you want this wedding planner? And I was just sitting there like, oh, this is going to be tough. Uh, <laughs> so her mom asked me all these questions, and after the call, I'm like confused. I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go. But it's funny because the next time I met her mom, she's like, oh, I had peace after that call. And I'm like, oh, I couldn't tell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now she loves Faye. <laughs> I knew you were getting married. Why were you nervous about proposing? Thank you. I'm just, I'm just curious because I just want to understand a male perspective. Preparation. It's not like I just got down one knee at the dinner and then from the hotel Coronado, we went there and I didn't know my mom was there and she surprised Aww. me that my sister. So all that attention, all that eyes looking at me. Okay. Then yeah, so I was nervous. Also, I didn't have the ring on me. Who had it? You had it. Oh. And you played a game of hot potato because I was like, I just. <laughs> Tristia was on one side and I was on the other side and you were next to her mm -hmm. so she had to pass it to somebody that that person passed it to my mom and then my mom <laughs> it passed it to me so we're going like this Meanwhile, I have no <laughs> idea any of Oh, you didn't show. see the fidgeting? No, she, was, she didn't even know drinking. that I had the ring mm -hmm. the entire time. We were in San Diego. She had no idea that the ring was in my possession. The whole trip. She had no idea. She was just clueless. We oh were just like, oh, we're just going to go with you guys and hang out and do our vacation. The day, the day before, I also, I had a, maybe a nervous breakdown because we went out with some, I, small world, we ran into some friends out in San Diego. And, um, and we were like, okay, we'll meet up with you. And the place we were going to meet up with was literally across the street from the rustic roof. Uh, and so and so that and that's what we, I had planned for plans for dinner. So I didn't want to spoil that surprise. So I was like just freaking out right then and there. Uh, it was really weird in, yeah. the, in the bar. Yeah, and I was, I was like, like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, and my, my friend Wallace had to pull me out like, you made us know how this right now. <laughs> Somebody proposing us across the street. I didn't know it was this is where y'all picked. <laughs> Uh, we went with Idro Ray Ray. They got custom, over the top, laser cut invitations. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was told as people were receiving them, people were just like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. a golden ticket. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a fancy thing. Yeah. Okay. So, this is like one of the sample designs. Yeah, so the idea is to give you um, a feel of the colors that are going to be in the design. These are going to be on the estate table. I don't know if you remember. We're having three, a uh, four. Maybe we said five, but to give you a feel of the colors. It's five. <laughs> Just see his face. And this this, is, is, this face. is the face <laughs> after like 16 hours of, how, how old you work? Well, 12 hours like of work, 16. overnight, but she's smiling now. See, <laughs> this is what we do. This is what we do.
little boxes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, yeah that's the option. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, while we are <laughs> editing the setup, Tristia is styling Marcus's <laughs> hair. I'm actually getting a cut. That's why it's all out. <laughs> You look like Pebbles. <laughs> why'd you do this? Why'd you do that to him? <laughs> why you take it out? Don't understand. She's tired. Oh my gosh. I cannot. The whole time I was like, let's get to dinner. I need to eat. Um, <laughs> it was <laughs> <that> fair. <laughs> it was really good. The food was good. like to this day, everyone's talking about the food. Okay, cool. So let's just make twenty. We'll make twenty two better. Yeah, honestly, because like when you look at the list, like we're gonna be standing for a lot of it, mm -hmm. except for dinner. So um, the band's not gonna stay. So mm -hmm. ten is sufficient. So, okay. Uh, but we can write out the names. I can ask the names you want to ask. Mm-hmm. Like it's July 20th. It's July 20th. Today. Oh, we're excited. And she looks awesome. Oh. And now, Tristia puts the finishing touches on her vows from Marcus. Tristia's about to get married! Yay! <laughs> it's clear that Tristia and her mom are very close, and we're just glad that we got to witness this beautiful, beautiful mother-daughter bond. While the bridal party got ready inside, we were getting ready outside with lots and lots of details. I just don't want to block. While the bride and groom take photos and enjoy their time, we're finalizing the ceremony setup. This meant no cell phones. 
it was a hot July day, so we had lots of water. Time to start the procession. It was a beautiful custom ceremony by Reverend Roxy. This walk down the aisle was extra special. Tricia's dad was recovering from leg surgery, but he trained for weeks just for this moment. Their bond is beautiful. That's it, the Mr. and Mrs. Hi, Catherine. Hi. <laughs> this walk down the aisle was extra special. So her final site visit six weeks before the wedding. We walk in and we see this giant green X. I think two giant greenery garlands uh, creating an X in the ceiling. And Tracia goes, what's that? So I go ask the coordinator for the, the uh, venue, and they say, oh no, a lot of people have been requesting this, so we're not gonna take it down. Um, Tristan was a little upset because uh, this venue was booked over a year before the wedding, and that wasn't there. The idea was all white, and now we have this greenery X. So uh, I sat down with the course, and came up with a new plan, like, hey, how about we have some sort of freestanding stri free structure that could just take the attention away from that? And we came up with lots and lots of ribbons, hanging, white ribbons that were hanging with crystals at the end, just to kind of get that tent, that all white feel again, to just kind of block out the greenery and have more white. So I ended up being really beautiful, you can see videos of it, um, but that was an interesting challenge just because she was not happy with that greenery at all. Um, yeah, she wasn't feeling it. It took hours and hours upon hours of work to set up the tent just perfectly for this amazing couple. By the way, she was a whole lot happier with this. I mean, who doesn't like a little shimmer? Thank you. 
Is Trinidad in the building? Yeah! Is Trini in the building? Yeah! Is El Salvador in the building? Yeah! One more, two more things I remember from the very first meeting we had. Tristina told me, and her mom told me that if they hired me, I had to dance at the wedding. That this was a requirement. <laughs> When you're getting married, one of the best things you can do is embrace the culture of your spouse, and Tricia for sure did that. Ten years ago or so, high school, college. So some of my rooms, man, were we were part of a, a crew, a dance crew called Not So Funny or NSP crew, and it was just a blend of b boys, or as you guys know, break dancers, but we call ourselves breakers and b boys, uh, poppers, and just pretty much hip hop dancers. And I had no intention of dancing at all, none. It was a hot day, as we mentioned earlier, suit, shoes, and everything, but my Go ahead. I'm telling a funny story. Continue. My, my one groomsman, I mean, people would take off the jackets, of course, but, you know, people started to relax. But my one groomsman, Lee, we changed into a t-shirt, kept the pants, and put on some sneakers. You have on suspenders? The yeah, over the t-shirt, which, which was fine, but I think I got comfortable. I thought nothing of it. Once the DJ started playing some hip-hop, because the majority of the music was either Spanish music or uh, soca, which is train music, once they started playing American hip hop, he got into a circle and pretty much called the rest of us out. And because that's our background, we responded and it just turned into a three way battle for the most part. Again, 
I haven't danced in years. <laughs> I'm not as slim and trim as I used to be. Not as far. And it was a hundred some degrees outside, so we were dead. Outside to give him the keys, and then my mom was like, "Do you know you have your your pants are right? You have a hole in your like, pants. Yeah, you have a hole in your pants." And he was like, "Okay." But, she, but his her mother, her, her mother oh, has the most casual it. voice. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He most passive voice. So he's like, "All right, cool." He gets on the elevator, and he's like, "Oh my god, I can see my shit." No, I can see my hamstring. Oh, you're right. So <laughs> her mother has the most. You don't have a hole in your pants? Yeah. Like she has the most passive voice. And the pants. I thought nothing of it. I'm thinking like maybe like something like that. Yeah, like, a little, like a little tear. The pants yeah. are shredded. Like all this. Like I, my boxes. Shredded. <laughs> I, I saw it in the No, we don't even it. know how it happened. When I tell you shredded, it was like shredded. And I was like. I don't know when it happened because it didn't happen when we were dancing. You know, you usually hear like a rip in your pants. No, uh, they, it was like spread. Yeah, it was shredded. From top to your, oh, his hamstring. Right butt cheek showing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, boxes showing. But it didn't happen when we were dancing no. because that was towards the middle ending of the party. All right, guys, the kids were good. Yeah. They were good. I mean, other than like her physical looks, uh, you just have to have good chemistry. And her and I, we hit it off so quick. We, again, we met in August, and we started making it official in October. And yeah, I love that she has a mind of her own. You know how like you ask a girl, like a, guys, you ask a girl like, what they want to eat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's, she does that from time to time, but she has a mind of her own and she's always She's really goal-oriented, and that's what I love about her. And you know, females that are like that. You're really funny. I'm a clown. You are. I'm a clown. I kind of like it. Um, what else? You two are really goal-oriented. And he's like, "This is what I want to do, and this is how I'm going to get it done." And I really appreciate that about him because some people are really. Like he said, super indecisive with your lives. And that's probably one of the true things I love about you. Because you know what you want to do with yeah. yourself. So, um, yeah, Tristina Marcus, what's new since the wedding? Like we were saying earlier, we, we got a house right after the wedding. So we just been doing yeah. projects in the house. Yeah. Pretty much just fixing things up. The yeah. chairs, the tables, still organizing. We're putting our clothes, things yeah. like that. We've been together for what six years now, going on. So hopefully that's feels much different. It's just it's, the project is the house. Right now. <laughs> but yeah, know, I mean, I guess the honeymoon was really over. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and we've been together for like all these years, so it's just the house is the new process. Yeah, yeah. we've been doing yard work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like being outside. It's hot. It is hot. It is. People who have like positive energy when you meet them and they have your best interest at heart is something that's really important. So talk to people. If you don't like them, then don't hire them, obviously. That's, but, yeah, that's a big thing. You yeah. have to like the person, not just at work. Not yeah. Like I liked for Faye, I really love the fact that she had many multicultural weddings under her belt, but I also loved her personality and her. Like she likes Jesus, we like Jesus. You know, like yes. we have things in common. Um, even with um, Reverend Roxy doing marriage counseling with her and her husband, it was it like it's the little things, and you have to get to know people and be willing to get to know them because they're gonna be with you for a year, a year plus. 